since I'm currently writing my master thesis and everything is still done from home at my university, I'm like 99% free in how I structure my days. This one I started quite late and after a shower and breakfast I first went to feed the cat that I'm cat sitting this week. The cat was not enthusiastic about the food and instead just wanted to be let into the garden to hunt the bugs. I fulfilled the cat's wish and let her out and then it was time for me to settle down in my home office. But not before making an iced coffee and also filling my water bottle. Okay, now that I have my coffee ready, uh, let's talk about my day. So I'm currently writing my master thesis and I have about two and a half months left until I have to hand in. So pretty much my days are just sitting down at my desk or wherever I want and working on first my experiments and also my writing, of course, because I have to document everything that I do and make it make sense. and write about the background and explain things and hopefully also uh, describe some of my interesting results which so far I don't have many so I hope that that will get better soon. <laughs> so because these are my last two months and it's currently summer anyways, I don't have any lectures, I can freely choose how many or how little hours I work but I try to work around uh, 30 to 35 hours on my thesis and then I also study a bit on the side to read up on statistics and machine learning topics so you could count that as work as well. So yesterday I had a bit of a late start so I only worked five to six hours and today I plan to work seven hours and the first thing I try to do before every workday is write a to-do list and lately I've been trying to write five things that I could do in under an hour to try and set more achievable goals because I tend to set a goal like write chapter five of my thesis and obviously that's not going to happen in a day <laughs> and then I'm disappointed in myself because I didn't do any work. So today I will try and write down five things that could be doable in under 60 minutes. Oh and I don't think I have mentioned this but the topic of my master's thesis is towards better understanding stochastic gradient descent for deep learning. So it's a bit about the theory of stochastic gradient descent and like how it works and why it works. And I made a bit of a longer video about this last week um, where I talk about what fascinates me about deep learning and that is also the topic of my thesis. So if you want to know more about that, check that video out. For today, I probably will do, I work a bit more in my code, so uh, run a bit more experiments. I'm tr currently trying to optimize my learning rate. So yeah, trying just to optimize the code and the experiment and the settings and everything so it will run better and hopefully give me more exciting results. It's also currently very hot in Europe. Uh, I think, yeah, in my room it's currently already 24 degrees Celsius and outside it's probably the same and it's gonna get hotter because I don't know if I showed this, but like my room has like two full glass walls. So, I mean, that's nice for the view, but in summer, if the sun shines, it gets quite hot quite quickly. So that's why I made an iced coffee with pumpkin spice because I mean, it's September, but also it's hot. So yeah, we're, we're having that. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with writing some to-dos. So it's now a bit later and I've worked for around three and a half hours now. So if I want to work seven hours today, that means I'm like halfway through and I had a little snack and I moved from my office back to the house where I'm cat sitting this week because the cat is outside and I wanted to supervise her a bit and like 
spend some time with her in case she wants to, but currently she's back to hunting bugs on the lawn. So earlier I documented two new things I did recently with my code. The first was um, documenting the toy data set that I'm using for my neural network. And the other one was documenting how I'm tuning the learning rate. So it's good for my experiments. And now I'm in the process of refactoring my code a bit because I want to introduce a new metric and the class which I'm currently using to track all my metrics is getting a bit full. So I'm introducing a new class and moving some code around so it's not just all in this one uh, class. And yeah, so next on the agenda is finishing this refactor and then hopefully adding the new metric. I want to also uh, look at the test error over different architectures. And yeah, then I want to try this new experiment out with the new metric. And maybe if I then still have time, I want to also document another part of my code, which I haven't written about in my thesis yet. So I just wanted to quickly show you my setup here on the patio and over there you can see the orange cat on the lawn. So that's the view, quite pretty. And now back to the code. So I'm now back home and I've worked for five hours in total now. The refactoring went okay, but the cat was constantly dis distracting me. So not a lot got done, but yeah, I'm going to work two more hours after dinner, but first I'm going to make and eat dinner. Right, so I'm back at my desk. Dinner was good and now I plan to do two more hours of work. I'm checking my refactored code to see if everything works fine and then I will set up the additional metric and do some experiments and let it run for some different configurations and yeah, if I still have time after that, which I'm kind of doubting right now, I will write some documentation about the other code which I haven't documented yet. So that's the plan for the next two hours. Wish me luck. <laughs> All right, so it's now uh, a bit after 11 p.m. And I did finish adding the test loss thing to my program, but did not get around to documenting the visualization code that I still wanted to do, but that's okay. Uh, I hopefully get to it tomorrow. And yeah, that's probably it for tonight. And I'll just uh, relax a bit on the couch, maybe watch some YouTube or read a bit of my book. I do want to read a few pages every day because it relaxes me and like gets me into a different headspace so I like that. So that's probably gonna be it from me for this vlog and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!